Welcome back to Purple Arvac Activities. Today we're doing another male chemistry set. Uh, this is another crystals one. There are three activities in the crystals set. We did one which was chemical frost. We're now going to do fool's gold. There we go. Now I've got my two sons, Thomas and Luke, here. This one we're going to do with Thomas. So. We've pre-prepared some of the stuff, so we've got the uh, we've got the, the pack over here, we've got the tray, not doing that one, and full gold. We've got everything ready that we need. So the first instruction on this uh I'll write stuff, although it's the first instruction, so I'll put the stone aside for a minute. The first instruction on this, I'll pop it there, so you can see, uh, is to mix some sodium hydrogen sulfate. So, I think that's in that one there. Oops. So, up, oh, safety first, yeah, we've got his goggles on, uh, his gloves on. Thomas has got his gloves on, he's got his goggles on. Here's mine. So, but I'm not going to be touching mine. Is it sodium, hydrogen, sulfate? Sulfate. That's the one. Um, so, we need that. So, there's the sodium, hydrogen, sulfate. NaHSO4 and we need a big spoon. Uh, yeah. And a clean test tube. This is the one that came in the box, we're not done anything with it. Should be clean, it's still sealed. Yeah, I think the spoons are the same, aren't they? Uh, the big size of the spoon, so this is where we need to be careful. Uh, it's, it's a liquid, this one. So you might as well get the next one, Thomas, because I should have to leave that a minute while I'm open it. So, so we need the, oh, here we go, potassium hexacyan phosphate. KA4FECN6. Why do you have a yellow one? <laughs> Yeah, there you go, the yellow one. Right, so they're the two that we need. Oh, this is dangerous, but that one isn't. Yeah, yeah well, we'll be careful. Yeah, it's fine. It's, uh, it's got the little corrosive symbol on it. Yeah. It means it'll burn your skin or like burn through the table, so be careful because someone will kill you. <laughs> burn the table, that's what the trade's for. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to take the big spoon. And we need a big spoonful of this into this test tube, alright? So, do you want to hold the spoon or squirt the liquid? Squirt the liquid. Squirt the liquid, okay. So we'll open this first, let's just pop that there a minute. Why isn't it dangerous if I squirt the liquid? They're really both good. dangerous, this is chemistry, so we've got to be careful. Childproof cap. Yeah. I've opened it. I'm in shock. No, I've got to fill the spoon. Oh. So, again, I've I did this completely wrong the last time we did anything. Here's my um, paper clip that comes with it. There's a bung in the end of here, and you need to shove the bung out with the paper clip. If you watch my very first Mel Science video, I had big problems with this bung because I didn't see the picture or understand what the paper clip was for. So there we go. So I'm holding the spoon, am I? Yeah. Right, that's my own. Need as well. Just take the lid off this. Ready? There we go. Okay. So we'll hold the spoon. I'll move that slightly to the edge so you can reach. So. It's gonna take me a while to fill the big spoon. Careful now. Remember, because you've got to take the air back in the bottle, so just squeezing it will be hard work. I'm used to squeezing ketchup bottles, remember, so if it stops coming out, let it go, and then you can squeeze it again once the air has come back in. So, this is so. One big spoon, I see that, one big spoon, a little bit more. I'll do. Alright, and here's a 
test do it. Okay. Just pull. And I'm going to pull this into here. I just realised it's very wrong hand. Cyan or ferret, a yellow one. Can you open it? It's supposed to be charcoal. Can you open it? Careful, just want to fill it. I want to. Yeah, pull it and then yeah, just push it. Push it. Thanks. <laughs> Please. Right, so that's in there. So now, um, something. So now we need a small spoonful of pyrite. Now, to make sure we don't mix these up beforehand, get the other spoon. So we don't want to mix it with what's on this spoon here oh, you accidentally. Mix, you're gonna mix it anyway. No, you're I know, we're gonna side. mix it safely in so, here. So I know. But what I'm gonna have to hold that in. And two, I accidentally get some on it. I don't know what it's going to do. We must be safe. Yeah, we must be safe, don't we? So then when we mixed it, so it's one small spoon into here, and then we're going to... Uh, Spoonfuls. Your test sol solution is designed to take the FE part from the FE S2 and make it visible with some help from the oxygen O2 from the air. Right. It's managed to open it. It's not charging. <laughs> <laughs> I very carefully get this over here. Yes, I don't know. It's still that, it? Okay, carefully holding it. I know we'll have to pull up. I'm going to throw some on the tray, but it's fine. Okay, so we've got a small spoon of pyrite, which I think is harmful enough. <laughs> Any warnings on the bottom of hands? Okay, so here's a test tube, just put this solution still in it. So Right. And then 
shake for 20 seconds. Down. Yeah. Put your, put your finger in the right, that's all I said just then, just in case. The lid doesn't come off. I think we can work out 20 seconds on my end. I got an exact timer, um, it's actually ticking on the, not banging on the thing, but actually I can see a timer on the clock, so you can see. So while he's doing that, we need to apply a thermos sticker to the beaker from the starter kit, that's the next bit, which uh, is one we prepared earlier, because we did a previous version of this, so there's it's the thermos, oh, it's going it's yellow when it's hot. It's turning blue. It's Oh yeah, look at that. So, well, I'll just read this bit. So, FeS2, which is the pyrite, contains Fe2 ions. The reaction of the pyrite with the oxygen forces Fe2 ions into the solution and turns them into Fe3 plus ions. Many reactions speed up when heated. This one is no exception. So that's what we're going to use this for. So I'll do this bit while Thomas is still shaking, but we've definitely got 20 seconds now. You can stop. Um, and we need some boiling water in here. It's recommended about 100 mils. I think it's just to settle the solution in. So here's a kettle I prepared earlier. I'll do this bit. I don't think 100 mils is absolutely necessary. It's just it's going to cover the solution. It's yeah. There's 100 mils in that. The thermo stick has gone yellow to tell us this is very hot and to be careful. Um, Take this off Thomas a minute so you can see that it's a nice blue colour. Yeah, I think it's meant to be blue at the end. Oh, it's already blue. It's, it's, you know, I just see it's like a mucky white blue at the minute. So, uh, so immerse the test tube in the boiling water in the beaker and then we've got to let it sit for 15 minutes. So, pop it in there. It's going to sit in there. 15 minutes in the in the heat. Now what we're going to do at this point is um, I'm, I'm not actually going to stop the video, I'm going to let it roll but uh, I'm going to fast forward this on 15 minutes um, and, then, and then you'll come back to us. So I'll, I'll speed this up through the video um, and when we can just sit down and chat a minute as this happens. Just over 15 minutes. Um, so Thomas, the last bit of this is you don't know it's eight it says now take the test tube out to check the result. So take it out. And what is the result? I don't know, is it? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> That's on it, and I'll pop it back in, and we'll see if anything else changes. But there's a little spill to the camera. 
camera. There's, there's what we've got. See what it says. I'll put this back in. Dip it into a spoon. Put it in. So it says. So let's figure out what's going on. Our solution contains plenty of dissolved oxygen from the air. NaHSO4 helps it react with FeS2. In this reaction, FeS2 loses Fe2+, which turns into Fe3+. In the process, and ventures into the solution. This is where K4FeCN6 comes in. Its FeCN6 parts can bind very strong, strongly to Fe3 and form an intensely coloured compound known as Prussian blue. Ah, so it's the compound I'm on about. So did you know the storage behind the common name FeS2 is known by? Pyrite is a word of Greek origin meaning in slash of fire. This name comes from pyrite's ability to create sparks when struck by metal. Its nickname, Fool's Gold, refers to the way large chunks of pyrite often look. Pyrite's yellowish metallic mustard tricked helpless gold diggers into mistaking it for actual gold more than once. The pyrite you use in experiment looks quite unassuming though, and nothing like gold. How come? For the sake of the experiment, the pyrite has been crushed and thus lost some of its appeal. Larger pyrite crystals often do look like cubes of gold. So it's the blue bit. We misunderstood what we were doing. We thought we were doing something with a pyrite. But when we started, we had the clear liquid again, didn't we? And now we've got this Prussian blue um, liquid. So we mixed a slightly yellowish liquid with a completely clear liquid. Um, then we had a bit of pyrite. And we've ended up with a blue. Single blue. So there's another one done. So explore the properties of pyrite. So we've done that. Oh, what? Let me say all three of those again. Let me read it in a minute. Thank you. See you for the next one.